jellyfish in art. People all over the world love to watch jellyfish move through the water. They inspire artists to create. Look at these beautiful jellyfish paintings. The red one on the left was painted by Melanie Haba. The artist on the right is unknown. They are Aboriginal artists, the First Nations people of Australia. What colors do you see in these paintings? Does it look like they're swimming in the ocean? This painting was created by Darlene Devery. She is also Aboriginal. Do you notice how they use many dots to create their jellyfish? When artists repeat something, it's called repetition. What is this artist repeating in the dream time? Does it look like the ocean or someplace else? Ernst Hackel was a German artist and biologist. He loved observing jellyfish. He made many scientific drawings of them. He drew these in 1904. Why do you think he drew them instead of just taking a picture? Hmm. If you guessed that they didn't have cameras back then, you're right. If you look closely, you'll notice that he's showing the jellyfish from multiple viewpoints. Can you tell which drawing is the top view of the jellyfish? Which is the bottom view? Kids like to paint jellyfish too. How are these paintings the same? How are they different? Do you think you could draw a jellyfish? Let's go to the drawing board and give it a try. If you finish, you can always write a story about your jellyfish, or you can research jellyfish online and find out about their lives in the ocean. For today's lesson, you're going to need some watercolor paints, some oil pastels or crayons, a paintbrush, a pencil, if it has an eraser that's nice, some salt, a water dish, and watercolor paper. Whatever size paper you choose is fine, but it's important that it's watercolor paper. For the first uh, step, we're going to take and move all of these things to the side, and all we need is our pencil. And we are going to be drawing our jellyfish bell, so the top part of the jellyfish, so that rounded shape. So I want you to first just to take your finger and make rainbow shapes. So try doing that and see maybe where you might want to put your jellyfish. Maybe you want a rainbow shape down here. Maybe you want one up here. Maybe you want one over here. And we're not making baby tiny rainbows. Your whole finger should move when you make your rainbow. So I think I'm going to put my jellyfish right here. And I'm gonna do a pretty big one. So you decide where you want yours to go. And once you know, you can actually take with your eraser and draw your bell shape. So there is the top of my jellyfish. And if I like it, I can keep it. If I don't like it, I could brush it away. And I could try again. There we go, and I think I like mine, so I'm gonna go ahead and trace it out with my pencil. So I have the bell shape of my jellyfish. And then at the bottom, we're gonna take and we're gonna make smiles. Just little smiles in a row. And that will give us the bottom part of our jellyfish. Now the next step is going to be making the arms of the jellyfish. And you can decide wherever you want them to go. Um, so I'm going to come in just a little ways and I'm going to make a wavy line down. And then I want my jellyfish um, arm to be about this wide, so I'm going to make a mark. And I'm going to be making this waved line from here down to the very tip here. So if I want, I could pull my line up. 
And that gives me one jellyfish arm. And now I'm going to make another jellyfish arm. So I'm going to come over a little ways and make a waved line. And it can be going in a different direction if you want. And then I want it to be about this wide, so I'm going to make a mark. So I know I'm going to be going from here to here. And I'm going to make a waved line coming back up. And now I have two jellyfish arms. Now jellyfish sometimes have spots, so I'm going to go ahead and draw a spot up at the top and some up here. You can do that if you want to. Sometimes they have spots down low. Now they often have tentacles as well, but we're going to wait to do our tentacles. Now if you want it to be simple, you can stop right there. If you wanted to add in another jellyfish, you could. So maybe I want to add in one over here. I would make my bell shape. And I would go through the same process to make this jellyfish if I was going to make another one. But maybe you want to do something different. Maybe you want to add in some fish or something else. Whatever you want to do. And I add in my two arms. Now once I'm to this stage, then I'm going to start working with my oil pastels. Now I want to trace over my lines in a thick, bright line. So often with oil pastels, we'll go and do just a thin line like that. But what we want to do is actually make our line nice and dark. So I'm going to trace over. And I can use one color, or I could use a few colors. I could even make it a rainbow if I want. I just want it to be light, so not like this. If it's like this, it won't work very well when we do the watercolor step. So we want it to be thick, whether it's an oil pastel or a crayon, we want to have a nice, thick line. And with your circles, you could take and even color them in. And you might choose to want, use one color. You might choose more. I'm using a few for mine. Now I don't need to color in the rest of it. I could just leave it at this point because we're going to do the rest with paint. So now I can come and do the same thing with this one. And I might choose the same colors or I might choose some colors that are totally different. But I'm going to make nice, thick, lines. Now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint my jellyfish. So I can set my oil pastels to the side for a moment. And here are my watercolor pans. So I'm going to get my brush and my water. I'm going to dip into my water. And then I'm going to choose what color or colors I want to paint my jellyfish. We're not going to paint the background yet, just our jellyfish. So you can choose any colors you want. I think I'm going to start with purple. Whatever you want, you're going to paint your jellyfish. Remember, if you want to change colors, you need to go into your water and change it up. You can do more than one color if you want to. I'm going to do a couple colors in mine. And you're going to paint your jellyfish's arms. And if you go out of the lines a little bit, it won't matter. It's not a big deal. And between each color, I am changing or cleaning my water. So I, or cleaning in my water. So I go in and I move my brush around.
So that way I keep my paints nice and clean. And if I finish my one jellyfish, then I'm gonna to want to go into my other jellyfish. Now at this point, I wanna let my jellyfish completely dry because uh, once it's dry, then I can paint my background and then the watercolors won't bleed in. So I have to let this completely dry before I move into my background. So it's a great time to go and change out your water um, or to just take a break. You might wanna finish it on the next day. All right, so my jellyfish are dry and I have clean water. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna to start to paint my background. Now I'm gonna to wanna to have my salt available and you can paint your background any color you want. It is up to you. And if you've added other things into your background, that is great as well. So you're gonna take and start to paint it. And as you finish a section, you're gonna take and sprinkle some salt on it. Just a little bit. And then you're gonna go ahead and go to another section. And you're going to paint your entire background that way. And you might want to add in some other colors as well. I just added in a little bit of purple. Ooh, that was a lot of purple. And after I paint a section, I will take and sprinkle on some salt. And then I can go to my next section. And you're gonna paint your whole background this way. And now I'm going to go ahead and let it completely dry. And then once it's dry, I can brush off all of the extra salt. Now the very last step when it dries completely and I've brushed off my salt will be to add tentacles. So then I can take my oil pastels and I can go in and start to draw just a few extra lines. So if you want to give your jellyfish some extra arms at the very, very end, you totally can uh, once you're dry and you've salted. And you'll take and decide where you want them to be. And you might use lots of different colors or you might just use the same one. It's up to you. So that is the very last step. You add on the tentacles as well. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you the next time. Bye bye.